Did you know that every time your heart beats, it creates two pressure numbers? Most people focus on the first one, the systolic number, but the second, known as diastolic blood pressure, is just as important. Understanding this number can tell you a lot about your heart health, especially when it's at rest. So in this video, we're breaking down what diastolic blood pressure is, why it's important, and what those numbers actually mean. To fully understand diastolic blood pressure, it's important to first explain what blood pressure is and how it works. Your heart is the central pump of your circulatory system, responsible for delivering oxygen-rich blood to every organ, tissue, and cell in your body. Every time your heart beats, it pumps blood into the vessels of the circulatory system. As the blood moves around the body, it puts pressure on the walls of the vessels. This pressure on the walls of your blood vessels is what we measure as your blood pressure. Your blood pressure is recorded as two numbers, a top number and a bottom number. The first, or top number, is your systolic blood pressure. This number measures the pressure your blood puts on your artery walls when your heart beats. The second, or bottom number, is your diastolic blood pressure. This number measures the pressure on your artery walls when your heart is resting between beats, refilling with blood. Both readings are measured and recorded in millimeters of mercury. For people over 50, more focus is typically placed on systolic blood pressure as a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. But it's important to note that either an elevated systolic or diastolic number can lead to a diagnosis of high blood pressure. Recent studies show that for people between 40 and 89 years old, every 10-point increase in diastolic blood pressure doubles the risk of dying from heart disease or stroke. So if your diastolic number is high while your systolic number is normal, it means you're at a higher risk of developing high systolic pressure as you age. So, what do your diastolic numbers actually mean? When your diastolic number is below 80 and your systolic number is under 120, that's considered normal blood pressure exactly where it should be. But if your diastolic number is below 80 while your systolic number is between 120 and 129, that's considered elevated blood pressure. This means you're at a higher risk of developing hypertension unless you take steps to manage it. If your diastolic number is between 80 and 89, your blood pressure falls into the high blood pressure range, stage 1, regardless of your systolic reading. If it reaches 90 or higher, your blood pressure is in the high blood pressure range, stage 2, no matter what your systolic reading is. This puts you at a significantly higher risk for heart disease, stroke, and other serious health problems. And if your diastolic number is higher than 120, then your blood pressure is in a hypertensive crisis, a critical situation that requires immediate medical attention. High diastolic blood pressure increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. It means there's more pressure in the arteries between heartbeats, which can limit oxygen flow to the heart. While it's less common in younger adults, it often becomes a key focus for doctors as people age, particularly when heart health is a concern. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and be sure to check out our next video if you're curious about what systolic blood pressure is and the risks associated with it. And don't forget to subscribe to Blood Pressure Healthcare for more expert tips on managing and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Stay healthy and we'll see you in the next video.